Hey everyone, this is Greg with Cost Certified. Today, I want to go over users. How do you add them in to your account? So let's say you're uh, one of the primary users of the account. You have a couple salespeople that you want to add in or maybe some operations or admin staff that you want to get involved into your Cost Certified program. So here's how you would add them in. You're going to go up to the Rubik's Cube in the top left, which will take you to the administration panel. Um, and in within here, you can scroll down and you will see a section for team management. So this is where you can create your users, your groups, and your roles. So first things first, we're going to actually add another user in here. It's really simplistic. You see, I've got my information in here. Now I want to add another user. I'm going to click create. And all it's going to do is it's going to ask you for an email address. So I am going to say... go and I am going to choose the role that they're going to have. So for right now I'm going to put her or Heather as the administrator and that's going to give her full permissions right off the bat and I'm going to click done and that will put it the information right here. You can add another user if you'd like. Now depending on the package that you did purchase there may be a restriction in the amount of users that you can have. Some packages will have three or five or maybe up to 10 users at a time. But once you hit that, you have to pay to move up to the next package if that's the case. But if you need to add in more users, you can easily add them here. And then what you do is you click send invitation. And this, it will invite that team member. So Heather here, for example, will get an email from me and that will allow her to be able to log into the software. In addition, if you need to make any changes, you can click on that person, just highlight them in blue, and then come up here to the circle with three dots, click on it, and you can click Edit and View. When you're in the Edit and View section, it will bring up their own sort of dashboard, but you can click on Permissions itself. So in here, you can grant specific roles to that person. With Admin, of course, you'd have full access to everything, but maybe you want to change that and say, okay, only certain people will get um, the ability to create assemblies, right? So you can, you know, as you progress through different pieces, you just take off the admin role, uh, remove administrator privileges, for example, as you see I'm doing here. And then you can scroll down and you can say, okay, I want to go and allow them to, you know, defer to the role or self only, you know, that's not allowed or things like that. So you can make sure as to what permissions each one of your staff members would have. So you can become very, very specific across the board. So for this one, again, I'm just gonna grant admin privileges and uh, she will have access to the entire organization.